Our next speaker tonight, our last speaker in the first half, is a hyper-local journalist. Please welcome Lucy Tobier. When I was nine, I needed a way to earn money. I made a list of things that I could do and crossed off the items one by one. Dog walking, babysitting, none of these things I wanted to do, but they could earn me money. But then there's the things that I could do, and they would be fun, and they could earn me money. In order to buy this doll, a groovy girl, I decided I could do chores, or lemonade stand, or newspaper. I immediately crossed off chores, definitely not wanting to do them, and went to lemonade stand. I love lemonade stands. They're fun, and they're something that kids do. They're cute, and they're... Parents are willing to buy their product. There was one problem. It was November. I did not want to do this in the winter. I love to write. That's why I chose the Maria of Times. Words and stories always fill my head. The Maria of Times has let me write more. In my head, a story is like a puzzle. There's all those pieces, and you have to put them together. If one piece is missing, the whole story changes. The whole puzzle changes. When I think of one sentence, another one comes. I live on a small street called Murray Avenue, hence the name of the Murray Ave Times. It's a one-way, one-block street in the Old West Side. I chose to use this as a topic for my paper because it was something I could get without an internet or car. I couldn't use any of these when I was nine. The Murray Ave Times let me do it by myself, without feeling frustrated about a parent's intervening. <laughs> the houses between the ho the spaces between the houses on the street are small, and the backyards are small, so the kids play in the front, except for in the winter. That's why the Murray Ave Times is good. It connects us when we can't do it for ourselves. My first interview was of a dog named Ruby. <laughs> I was scared about this interview. I chose to do about this dog, though, because the dog couldn't say no to the interview. <laughs> the owners of Ruby are Brittany and Ryan. They were shy, so I was nervous about asking for this interview and doing it. After the interview, I got to know them better. That's what the Maria of Times does. It connects us when we can't do it easily for ourselves. Since I have started the Murray of Times, a descriptive story has popped up wherever I go. If I'm running up the hill, a narrator is telling that to me, saying in first person, second, or third. The first issue of the Murray of Times was one page and three paragraphs long, and now can be up to ten pages, includes a range of topics to fit a, ra a range of their interests. My first interview was of a, one of my first interviews with a man named Dave Askins. I, I interviewed him about his organization, Civ City, which he and his wife, Mary Morgan, started after ending their Ann Arbor Chronicle after five years. Civ City is a local nonprofit organization which teaches Ann Arbor more about its government and gets them involved in it. Like the Moriav Times teaches the residents about the street and gets them more involved and connected about the street. He said the Moriav Times is like an archive or history document. You can look back on it and see stuff about the street that you might not have known before, like how someone named, owned a cat named Pinky, or in 2014, when I was a bat and my brother a firefighter. <laughs> you can also see that Minecraft was popular, and bunny <laughs> costumes were popular too. It can teach us about stuff that we might not have known. I feel the connection to hand over the paper to continue the connection which I have started with the Maria of Times. It only feels right to do this after these people have trusted me to deliver them their monthly news. If your street doesn't have a newspaper, then start one. Do it by yourself or do it with a friend. Write about your street, write about your community. 
Make your street change makes a world change. What's your story? Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, that concludes our first half. We're going to have a brief intermission. Uh, one thing we need for a talk in the second half is a couple of volunteers that can speak loudly with invective. And if you think you might be that person, can you uh, find Nan here in the front row and uh, let her know that. Uh, so we'll come back at about uh, 8.10, I'd say. OK? Thank you. Thank you.